welcome to my channel, Knitting Books Etc. My name is Cristina and I come to you from Lisbon, Portugal. Today is the 1st of March of 2024 and I'm here to talk a little bit about what I've been doing uh, related to crafts. So this episode is about crafts and well I'm going to show you uh, what I have been working on. Uh, this week I didn't have much time to knit or crochet because I do that normally in the mornings and this past week I had extra work in the mornings and I also had uh, to do some medical exams so and they were in the morning as well. So I am going to show you, uh, this is a sock I'm working on which I also I'm writing the pattern. She's already in test and um, I call it, uh, it's in the middle of the um, heel so I'm going to show you um, the other one which is already finished although not blocked and uh, I call these socks thank you for the coffee because I decided some very generous people have been offering me um, a coffee through the coffee uh, platform and I decided to uh, give them back this design because I think it's I, I really like it it's very easy to do and um, it's a way for me to say thank you so this is what I've been working on um, because again, I haven't had much time um, this past week. But I have two finished objects actually. One is uh, the test I was uh, doing for Sandra Magalhães from Agasalhos e Bugalhos. That's a brand that um, uh, of mainly children's clothing. And for me, she's the best designer of children's clothing. So. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> this is a dress uh, called Alentejo Baby Dress. It's part of a pack that has a dress and a, a romper. Uh, I used, um, I reused, this is a reused uh, yarn, which is um, drops charisma in the mustard color i think that's the name of the color and this white stripe is debbie bliss baby cashmerino i had i had both these yarns here in my stash um and i, re I really like it so it's ready to uh, be given away and the other uh finished object is Something I um, I finished, I started and finished this week, and it's related to one of one acquisition I have. So what did I finish? I finished this, and I can show you. This is my what I call my amigurumi shelves. So it's I decided to move all my amigurumi books to this shelf. Also my yarn, which is here in this uh, upper shelf and then down, I have um, all my cotton yarn and yarn that I have for Amigurumi. And here is my new <laughs> green elephant. So I love him. He's full of, not perfect at all. I think that, sorry about the light. Let me see if I can uh, show you here. So. A flower here and as you can see I think that I well not here they are not but uh, for a moment I thought that the the ears were not at the same level but they are I think they are I don't know maybe not I'm not I never good at uh, sewing the pieces I still need to to learn uh, or to practice a lot. I think it's more um, a matter of practicing. The tail is here and I love him a lot. So 
this is related to my acquisition, which is a book uh, that I can show you. Oops, poor guy or girl. So the book is here in my French books. Uh, it's, um, they are three books in one. So this is a designer called Marie Kless, and uh, I, I had heard of her before, but the other day uh, I was commenting on a book by Julie from KS Moms, and she mentioned this author uh, uh, again, and so I was curious. So what I, she's called, it, her name is here. Um, I think she's French. And she is Marie Cless here, her name. And um, I was going to show you the, the table of contents because as you can see here, you have the, this is avant propos is the introduction. Then you have uh, materials and techniques, uh, basic techniques. And then you have three books. So these three books are, they were previously published individually. And uh, the first one is called Adorable Animaux. And uh, the books are organized where you have first the pictures of each of the designs. And then in the back, you have all the patterns with also some more pictures. But here at the beginning, they have big pictures, which is very convenient to show. <laughs> because I'm not revealing any pattern and I can show you uh, all the pictures. So you have a unicorn and a swan. Here you have two more pictures of the unicorn and the swan. And then you have a clownfish. This one here. An octopus and the narwhal. They are so cute. Some more pictures of both. And, and here is my, uh, it's called Georgie l'elephant. So, and uh, I found it very funny because he's a green elephant and uh, green is my favorite color. So I did it. Uh, just like the let me compare I had this 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 were some colors I had in my stash um, and so here it is my uh, my Georgie the elephant okay and this giraffe I think that Julie from KS Mums made this giraffe some time ago and I think she's gorgeous <laughs> and uh, this fox in my opinion it's a bit too similar to this one that I made some time ago which is from the pick a Pau books I think this is from the first one at least it was my first uh, uh, Amigurumi from that book. It's very imperfect, and but I have a special affection for him because he was uh, my first one, and he's called I think Lucas in the Picapau book, and I think it's very similar to this one. Uh, here you have this bird. And then you have some plants, which I think they are incredible. Look at this, especially this here. They are amazing. And this is the first book. Then you have a book with miniatures, which is Adorable Mini Animaux. And they are divided in more or less some regions. So here that she calls them 
uh, exotic animals, but then you have an elephant and a tiger. And then you have a lion, a koala, and an alpaca. And here you have two birds, parakeets, she called them. Uh, uh, she calls them. Okay, uh, a unicorn and a dinosaur. I think this dinosaur is so cute. And then you have uh, farm animals. So here they are. So sweet. And the, a cat, the duck, the ducklings. And then I think this is a pig and a cow. You have animals of the forest. And here they are. In more detail. Look them here too. Then you have animals of the sea. And here you have them. This shark is so cute. And the penguin is also cute. This is a whale, an octopus turtle so here you have them some more pictures and then you have another book with some more an mini animals so it's called uh, encore plus d'adorable mini animaux so uh, you have animals from the savanne. I like this ostrich a, a, a lot. I think she's very well done. Here she is again. And look at him. The peacock is so amazing. The panda and a monkey. Oh, look at the chicks and the chicken. She's so, the hen is so cute. And then you have here these two. Some insects. Look at, that's the only way I like insects. It's as amigurumi. And the butterfly is also very cute. Look at this, sea animals. Look at this ray and the crab. So here you have, oh, and this is a, a baby, um, uh, infant seal, so a baby seal, baby seal, that's how she call it. Crabs and she called this the surgeon fish. Okay, I didn't know they were called like this. And that's it. So I love the book. I want to do, I'm going to make some. Uh, um, mini animals see if i can how if they are too fiddly or not but i think that they must be quick to make and they are really very cute so um here you have them uh another thing so they go here to into my french shelf i have a french shelf <laughs> which is all the books of amigurumi that they are that are in French. Let me put this back into their place, otherwise this will become a mess. I am rearranging my craft room, so it's already a big mess. Another thing I wanted to talk about is, uh, I'd like to see where my phone, yes. 
I also, uh, a, a friend of mine talked about um, some deals which are called Humble Bundle. I, I hadn't heard about them before. I will try to put a link in the description box because uh, uh, recently they had um, a bundle of Amigurumi and crochet books and uh, they had 23 uh, books in digital format. Some of these books I already have in physical format but I do like to have them in both formats because when I'm looking at the patterns and browsing I like the physical book and I like the smell of the books uh, but uh, when I'm following a pattern I prefer I use my iPad so even if I have the physical book and no digital form I normally uh, uh, scan the um, the pattern and then use my iPad I use the good reader uh, app to uh, put to write on the pattern and follow the pattern and so on uh, so I have so that's why I, I thought that this was a good deal first of all it's very cheap and um, you get uh, lots of books some better than others but that's okay so uh, what you got and I can sh show you here my files I got uh, Edwards Menagerie uh, birds which I have from Kerry Lord then you have crochet every way which is a fantastic crochet book that uh, teaches to to uh, to increase and decrease and to form the shape of our uh, projects then you have um, let me see uh, crochet crochet animal rugs this one, for example, doesn't appeal very much to me. Then you have this one, uh, Crochet Iconic Women, which I also have in physical format. Then you have Easy Crochet Dishcloth, uh, Stitch Encyclopedia. I haven't looked at them all because I haven't had the time. Here it's the first Edwards Menagerie, which I also have. Uh, fairy tale blankets extreme crochet with chunky yarn oh. kawaii crochet this is in my physical uh, wish list actually this one also my crochet doll good book Make your own crochet animals. I haven't uh, looked inside this one yet. Then you have Modern Crochet Bible. It looks interesting. I just picked inside. I haven't properly uh, read it. Uh, this one is also, I think it's from the same, at least the same publishers of My Crochet Doll. It's My Crochet Animals. I liked it a lot too. Uh, quick and Easy Crochet, it has 100 patterns, small patterns. Snuggle and Play Crochet. So this one, I, I don't know why it didn't appeal to me when I saw other people mentioned when uh, the Amigurumi book tag was uh, made but um, this one um, it's much better than I thought so this one is another one I want in my physical books pile okay a complete crochet course I haven't uh, read it yet or looked inside yet this one I have in, in physical format. I like this type of things because, for example, on t-shirts, if they have either a small hole or a stain that doesn't come out, I like to put um, a flower on it or more than one. 
This one uh, looks interesting. I haven't seen uh, looked at it yet, but it's simply stunning crochet bags. Then, uh, well, now I cannot close it. Okay, can. Hmm. Come on, phone. Okay. This one uh, looks cute, but I haven't uh, read any of the patterns. Amigurumi style, Amigurumi style crochet. So they look very stylish, the dolls and with the clothes. Look at the radio and the animals. Super size crochet. Uh, this one, this, this mat I had already seen in another one, didn't I? So anyway. I haven't looked at it either. Then this one here is 10 crochet flowers. I think that these flowers appeared already in the other book, 200. As I said, there are 23 books. Not all are very interesting, but many are. And this one I also wanted. I, I've seen this one in many um, other crochet or amigurumi podcasts, and they showed this book, and it looks very good so it's crochet rag dolls 30 animals and friends to snuggle so this one i'm also interested in and that's it so it's the humble bumble i try to link uh, down below i forgot to mention uh, what i'm wearing this is an old um jumper i made it's the what is it called? Maylin by Isabel Kramer, which I made some years ago, several years ago, uh, with um, <clears throat> a yarn I was trying, which is 100% non superwash wool called Amalia from uh, Rosario Squat. Uh, finally, I wanted to talk about a project I'm going to participate in, which is. Uh, oh, I have to fetch the pattern there one minute so it's a shawl and it's called uh, Shail Vitral by Auri Auri is a yarn shop here near me and uh, the shawl is uh, uses two um, one mohair skein and two skeins of a yarn which it can be sock yarn or in my case i cannot wear sock yarn so i i chose a merino singles and what they did in this shop it was that if you bought the the yarn there they offered you this uh pattern and after lots and lots of hesitation, I decided, well, I'm going to cast it on today. So I already um, made some cakes with the yarn. This is my uh, Merino single. And I have here the other skein still in skein format. So I think it's absolutely lovely. So blues and greys. And it says here, oh, sorry, this is upside down. So merino single auri it's uh, hand dyed by a, a person that used to work there and it says 100 percent superwash merino wool what uh mulesling free sock fingering baby gentle hand wash only dyed in portugal 100 grams 420 meters so i have this and then this is a uh, mohair and the color is stunning. It looks like silver. And I think that they go together very well. So this is going to be my, uh, this is going to be uh, my color. So my color cho choice for this uh, pattern. And now I think I'm, I've finished all uh, that I want to talk about. Um, yeah, I think it. I'm done today. 
So uh, I will still want to record another uh, video about the books I read uh, this last two months. So um, I will do that next. See you next time.